everyone. Welcome to STEAM Lab Saturday. I am Alicia, a librarian here at Mitchell Park Library, and welcome to another um, STEAM Lab Saturday. We are going to make fizzy art today. Right, so let's go over our materials first and make sure we have everything before we start our um, project. So today we're doing fizzy art. You know, last couple of um, STEAM labs, we focused a lot of on, on science and, you know, math and technology. Today we're kind of doing more art. So we're going to make, we're going to paint, and then we're going to make fizzy paint. There's still some science in it, but we're going to explore our artistic side today. All right. All right, let's go over our materials. We've got paper, like um, construction paper. This is actually watercolor paper, but if you have something like cardstock or construction paper, something um, kind of more durable because the paper gets really wet with all the liquids we're going to put on it. Um, so if you have um, watercolor paper, construction paper, that'll work. Um, you can even do it on cardboard. That'll, that's fun too. All right, so we've got our paper. Um, some paint brushes. I have a couple in different sizes. Um, you can use whatever you like. Uh, a spoon for stirring, mixing. Some cups for every color. I have four colors, so I have four cups to mix our paints in. <clears throat> um, this is our watercolors, so I have um, four different watercolors. Um, some water. I have about a cup of water here. We don't need all the whole cup, but um, some water, plenty of water. A tablespoon for uh, measuring, so we'll need that. A pipette. This is called a pipette. It's like a dropper. You squeeze here and drop. If you have an eyedropper, you can use that, um, or you can actually use a squirt bottle. If you have a squirt bottle, that's kind of cool. Um, to drop the, this is for dropping the vinegar onto our art to make it get fizzy. And then we have our baking soda, box of baking soda, and our vinegar. All right, did I get everything? Yeah. So the cups, I have four cups because I have four colors. If you have more than one color, four colors, you'll have, you know, just have as many cups as you have colors. Let's see, is there anything I wanted to go over before we get started? I don't think there is. So um, let's take our paper, put our paper aside. We don't need it yet. So we'll start by taking our cups out. We don't need our vinegar yet either, so we can set that aside too. Right now we need our cups out, our food coloring, and our baking soda and water, and our tablespoon. Whoops. Okay, so make sure everybody can see okay. Okay. okay, so let's get started. So it's going to be a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of baking soda each, equal measurements of each. So baking soda, one tablespoon, and water, one tablespoon. If you would like more paint, you can do two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of um, baking soda, as long as they're equal amounts, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is scoop out my baking soda. Do it over here. And in each cup, I'm going to put one tablespoon of baking soda. Kind of chunky, so I kind of break it up a little bit. 
All right, that was two. We'll do another two. The more baking soda in your paint, the better chemical reaction you'll have when we add the um, vinegar. So we want to make it kind of thick paint, not too watery, but not too pasty at the same time. Okay. All right. Wait, which way did we want to go this way? So everyone can see I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. We've got our baking soda out. Now we're going to take our water. And then scoop our water in. One tablespoon in each cup. Okay. And then we got our spoon for stirring to mix. You you can use anything. You can use a, a plastic um, butter knife, a fork, a spoon. You can use actually the handle of your paintbrush too. That works. Um, okay, so we'll take our food coloring. We've got four different colors. And then you add as much food coloring as you want. Sometimes you want to do one drop to, and that will make your color kind of lighter, but you can add more drops if you want it to be more vibrant and a deeper color. So I think I'll do a couple, a couple drops. I did three there and then I take my spoon and just kind of stir it. So that the baking soda and the water and the food coloring is nice and combined. Stir that. Should look like that. Cool. I'm gonna wipe off my spoon. Stir the green. Mm, that's nice. I might add a little bit more baking soda. I don't know. It's a little watery, but we'll see. Okay. Um, red next. I'm putting kind of like three drops each, but like I said, you can do one if you want. You can do like five. It's up to you. Looks kind of pinkish. Okay. And the last one, yellow. Hey, looks like my sweater that I'm wearing today kind of matches. All right. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let me see. I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda because it's not quite the consistency I want. I want a little bit more thicker paint, so I'm going to add a little more. Just a little more in each one. So when you do it, you can do like a heaping tablespoon. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, we are good to go. Wow, ready to paint? Okay, 
dirty. No, they're not there. Grab our paper. Okay, let's see. I think I'll use two different kinds of brushes. I'm going to use a thin one and a thicker one, but we can, you know, you can experiment at home, which, whichever uh, brush you have. So, um, all right, we're ready to start painting something. Let's see, what should we do? You can make a picture, you can make something abstract, just kind of shapes and designs, which is what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna hold it like this. And then when you're painting, kind of scoop up, you'll notice at the bottom, there's some baking soda, kind of scoop that up as you're painting or as you're reaching in with your brush to get some paint for painting. The baking soda kind of settles to the bottom of your cup. You can like make a ocean, you can make an animal, you can do a tree, whatever you want. I'm just kind of doing zigzag design. You can do like circles, big giant circles, whatever you like to do. Okay really get it on there and get a lot of paint on there. Okay. And I can make another one down here that kind of looks the same, but a little smaller. Kind of looks like a river, doesn't it? Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention this is going to get very messy, so make sure you have a tablecloth, a plastic um, tablecloth underneath on your table, underneath the art, or you can put newspaper down, um, or you could do it outside. It just gets kind of messy. I even painted off the off my paper too, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay to get the this table. We put some I put some paper down before. Oops. Oh, I splattered. That looks kind of cool, though. All right. I think I'm ready for another color now. Maybe I'll do a little bit more splatters. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can take your um, cup of water that we didn't, you know, there's plenty of water left, and you can take that to clean your brush when you're done. Let's see, I think I'll do green next. I like to have that side by side. All right. I wonder what some of you are going to paint at home. Gonna make a scene like outside, or are you gonna make like kind of geometric designs, shapes? Oops. Or maybe you can draw yourself. That would be cool. Or paint yourself. I like this brush. Maybe I'll just stick to the smaller brush. Sometimes in when you're doing art, 
and you're using different tools to do your art, you find out what you really like and what you don't like so much. So sometimes when I'm painting or drawing, I really like using certain things, but not other things. So I really like this size brush. This is a good size. The big one's good too. I like this one. I'm gonna put a green circle right there. We're ready for red. Oof, this one's really thick. Mm -hmm. Lots of. Sometimes after it's sat, before you paint, give it a little stir, and then you can start painting with it. Because the baking soda will settle on the bottom. So we are doing art, but we are do also going to be doing science. The science behind the fizzy art. Some of you might remember when we did lava lamps at the beginning of the year, we did our own lava lamps. So the science behind this craft project, art project, is this same chemical reaction from the lava lamps. Um, it's the, a reaction that occurs between baking soda and vinegar. So the baking soda is the base and vinegar is the acid. And when they combine, creates a gas called carbon dioxide. So we're going to see all these carbon dioxide bubbles come out of our art <laughs> when we drop the vinegar on it. So our art is going to come alive. Isn't that cool? So we're going to see a chemical reaction Oh, after we're done painting, we'll do, we'll create a chemical reaction. And that's the science here. Cool. Science is everywhere, really. A little bit of red got in my green. That's okay. Looks kind of cool, actually. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do a little red down here. So when we, after when we drop our vinegar on to our art, listen with your ears, like really get down and listen because you can hear the fizz. We'll be able to hear it fizz and see it fizz too. Yeah. You might be able to feel it if you hold your hand close enough to the paper after we pour um, drop vinegar, you might be able to feel the popping, the little um, bubbles pop with carbon dioxide. <gasps> cool. Okay. I think we need some yellow. Looks good. But we need some yellow. Yellow's happy. Yellow is a happy color. That's why we're yellow today. So excited and happy to be doing Steam Lab with you all. Um, I love doing science projects. Science is fun. Well, so fun to learn new things and kind of experiment. And if something goes wrong, that's okay because we learn and then we can do it again, you know? I did this experiment, this art project yesterday with a bigger brush. Um, it looked good. I liked it. But actually, I like it this time with a smaller brush. So we just experiment, see what we like, see what works, see what doesn't work as well, and then try again, try it again. Okay. I'm leaving, I'm going to leave a little white. I like to, when I leave a little white between the colors. So 
but you can um, color it all in. What do you do when you're making art? Do you sometimes like listen to music or watch? Maybe you're watching a show. Can you do, do you like to do kind of like two things at once? I like to listen to music when I do art. Um, I feel like it helps me concentrate and helps relax me too. Relaxing. Okay. <gasps> Look at that, I think I'm done. I like that. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. And a little bit more right here. Oops, that's okay. Okay. Look at that, that looks great. What does yours look like? All right, got my paint my brush. Just want to make sure. Okay, cool. All right. Now it's time to drop our vinegar on our artwork and see it fizz and create fizzy art. Okay, so we take our, we can set our paint aside. Just going to move it out of the way a little bit. Take our vinegar and our pipette, our dropper. And um, we're going to drop vinegar over the artwork. Watch what happens. Okay. Hopefully you can see it from here. I might pick it up. I could pick up the paper for you and hold it closer to the camera um, if you can't see it but hopefully you can. Okay, ready? Let's try it. Here we go. We're going to have an acid-base chemical reaction and our art is going to come alive. <gasps> this time I'll be, next time I'll be quiet so that you can maybe hear the fizz. Try it again. Can you hear yours? I can definitely hear mine. I'm going to try to feel it this time. Oh, yeah, I felt it. I felt the carbon dioxide. It smells vinegary. It's been, the vinegar smells has kind of a strong smell, right? Okay. Whoa. Cool. Whoa, my green circle really erupted like a volcano. What else? Oh, we have to do up here. It's still bubbling over there on that side. Still bubbling. Can you hear yours? Listen, little sounds of like bubbling. Actually, I don't think I can lift this up for you to see it any closer because it's so, there's so much vinegar all over it. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. We haven't got up here yet. Very cool. Now, if you want to save it, you can um, carefully set it to dry somewhere, maybe out in the sun. 
and let all of the liquid evaporate off. That means like dry off and um, you can keep it and hang it up. Oh, I still see little cards. Now, after you've put a lot of vinegar on, all of the baking soda will have been gone through the, the process of fizzing. So there won't be any more baking soda to fizz. So you'll have to do another one. <laughs> Because if you just keep putting vinegar on it, all the baking sodas, you know, there won't be any more chemical reactions because all the baking soda is gone. Like I think on mine, it's all done. Kind of a little bit. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Whoa, my table's very wet. But that was so much fun to like create something and then make it come alive with science. When we're done, I think I will dry this in the sun and see how it turns out. Thank you so much for joining me today for Steam Lab Saturday. I had a great time making art with you. Uh, please tune in next month. We're having a special Steam Lab Saturday with an author. Um, and she's going to talk about her book. And we're going to have games and have a great time. So tune, on, tune in on the first Saturday of September for the next STEAM Lab Saturday. All right. Enjoy your art. Thanks for coming today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.